Hello, in this video where we're going to see how you can generate a Quarkus project, containerize the project with Jeep, and finally deploy the project into Kubernetes under five minutes. So the first thing that you need to do is just generate your project. So you need to go to code.quarkus.io and generate the project. Basically, you choose the group ID, your artifact ID, the build tool, Maven, or Rail. And then we need to pick up our extensions. In this case, since we want to containerize our project using Jeep, we need to add the Jeep extension. And then since we want to deploy the project to Kubernetes, we need to add the Kubernetes extension. And when both of the extensions are added, just push generate project and a zip file is going to be downloaded. Then we can just unzip the project and open it in your ID, in this case Visual Studio, and you can see that I have a simple hello um, endpoint. Then, uh, in this case, I'm going to use Quai as a public Docker registry. Notice that my group is Lord of the Jars and the artifact is greetings, and I have no container image there deployed, and I've got here as well, uh, Kubernetes cluster running, and if you do kubectl get pod, you see that there is no pod running, even if I can do deployment, deployment, there is no deployment. So let's add, uh, or let's deploy our project. I've created here a very simple snippet, which basically configures my group, which is Lord of the Jars, and the registry where I want to push the uh, image, which is Quire.io. Notice that I'm not setting the username of the password, the reason is that because the um, extension is smart enough to take it from the Docker login information, but you, of course, you could even set it here manually. And I saw I'm not setting the name or the tag because all these information are taken automatically from pom.xml. So let's deploy this. Let's go to the greetings and let's run Maven compile package minus descriptors minus d quarkus dot Kubernetes dot deploy equal true. We do this. And notice that the project is built. And I'm using Jeep to create the container image. Then the image is pushed. Notice that we can go here and refresh. And you see that the version 1.0.0 snapshot has been pushed a few seconds ago. And if I go to QCDL, get pods, you can see that there is a greeting service running. And if I do the same for the deployments, you see that there is a greeting deployment there. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to generate, containerize, and deploy a project with uh, Quarkus.